that show that kids who get measles as a child are much healthier when they grow up, that they're much more resistant to cancers, to atopic diseases, to allergies, and to, uh, and to heart disease. Welcome back to the channel. We have a great one here for you today. It's like a five-minute interview with Robert F. Kennedy Jr. He has a book, The Real Anthony Fauci. I'll leave a link in the description. I suggest you check it out. Um, controversial topic here, but I tend to agree that everything is a cover-up. Everything is owned by a few, and that's what this channel is about. That's why I love crypto. That's why I love Bitcoin. It's about our decentralization from the people that have been having total control over us through the media, through medicine, through education. It all needs to change, and it has to change quick, right? Otherwise, we're just going to be screwed. Um, like, subscribe, enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. This is the Crypto Realm. I want to get to vaccines. Um, if your kids were young now, would you give them the measles, the mumps vaccine? No. I got measles, mumps when I was a kid. It was lots of people die from them, used to die from those. Uh, diseases. Well, you know what? They died in the 1900s or early 1900s. There were about 10,000 Americans a year died. In 1964, there was about three or 400 who died, and they were almost all um, severely malnourished, malnourished kids, mainly from the Mississippi Delta. This was before the poverty program, so there was a lot of starving children in our country. It's, it's very, very hard to kill a healthy child with any infectious disease, but particularly with measles. And the World Health Organization now says vitamin A is an absolute cure for measles, which we didn't know about back then. Back then, you know, we were treated with chicken soup, and, and it was, you know, a, a week at home watching Leave it to Beaver, and every kid caught it. Every single kid got it. And I had 11 brothers and sisters and we all got it and we were all fine. And there are lots and lots of studies out there now that show that kids who get measles as a child are much healthier when they grow up, that they're much more resistant to cancers, to atopic diseases, to allergies and to, uh, and to heart disease. You went to Samoa. You convinced people not to get the measles vaccine. An outbreak resulted in 83 deaths. Yeah, well, that story is not true. First of all, the prime minister of Samoa stayed the measles vaccine after measles vaccines killed a number of people in Samoa, including members of his family. So when I went to Samoa, the ban was already in place. And I visited people in Samoa. I didn't make a, I didn't know there was no policy that resulted from my going to Samoa. Secondly, nobody died in Samoa from measles. They were dying from a bad vaccine. And they, the vaccine was imported from Australia and given to people who had measles, which is, which is not recommended. The same measles outbreak hit Tonga, which is the neighboring island, and nobody died because they didn't get the vaccine. So this is more propaganda by the pharmaceutical industry, which is, you know, drumming up a, a lie to try to discredit me. But if you actually look into it, John, you'll find that it is not true. And you still say that autism is caused by vaccines? Yeah, autism is caused by vaccines. And, and by the way, CDC's own data, you know, in, in with that they... they they did a study called the Virus Stratton study in 1989. And they looked at um, the hepatitis B vaccine. They looked at children and it, from the biggest database in the world, the vaccine safety data link. They looked at children who got the hepatitis B vaccine during their first 30 days. And they compared those to kids who got it later or didn't get it at all. And there was a 1,304. 50% um, elevated uh, risk for autism among the people who got the There vaccine. may well be, but there are studies with millions of people. You ignore uh, no, the no, no, there, studies. This, look, what, oh, you have this wrong. There's a series of about 13 studies that were done by people we call biostitutes. They're, one of them was the leading one. They who are people who do these studies for money for CDC. They were paid for by CDC in order to create the illusion that 
vaccines don't cause autism. The, the chief scientist was a guy called Paul Thornson, who CDC laid, and his study is the most cited study for this proposition. And Paul Thornson is now a fugitive. He's wanted by Interpol. He stole millions of dollars from CDC that he had claimed to use on this study, but he was building houses, buying motorcycles, and living a life of luxury. And the and the, his study is absolute fraud. And yet it is they have not retracted it because CDC is a dishonest organization and it continues to be cited in the literature. And there, by the way, John, there are hundreds and hundreds of studies. I've written a book, if you're interested, called I'm Aerosol, Let the Science Speak, that um, has, I think, 1,400 references in it, over 400 studies cited um, that link um, autism and other related neurological injuries to vaccines. There, there is no question about it. If you actually read the literature, if you listen to what the propaganda that CDC tells you, yeah, vaccines don't cause autism. Because it's propaganda. This is a captive agency that is, that is intertwined and owned by the pharmaceutical industry.